Okay, welcome to IQ Online Classes on Twitter. My name is We are back again at IQ Tuition Center. So today we are going to do calculus. Calculus, this is the differentiation. The first part of calculus is differentiation. So here I'll skip the first principle because we have a video on YouTube on first principle, brought that through and caution through. So I'll start from general, but I want to mix these topics here or these subtopics here on differentiation. So I'll touch a little bit on general. I'll go to successful, I'll go to university. I just want to put them together. Okay. So let's start with general. Okay. Let's start with general. So I'll start with the shortcut or the quickest way. Okay. Let's say we have this one y or f of x equals to let me say 3x squared plus 2x to the power 9. Okay. So the moment you see this power here, you know that this is general. So the moment you see a power there, you know that this is what this is general. Okay. So the first method that we use is just a shortcut. It's the quickest method here. So the first thing you do here is say, we are told to differentiate this one here. So the first thing you do is say, you divide the x, t is, we are differentiating this square y in this respect to the x. We are differentiating y in this respect to the x. So the first thing you do here, you drop the power, you drop this power here, you bring it to front, so drop the power, okay? After dropping the power here, maintain what is inside here. Let's maintain what is inside here. 3x squared plus 2x. Okay. Then we subtract one from this power here. So we will subtract one from here, say, minus 1. You will name it 8. Okay. What you do next? Now you differentiate what is inside here. You differentiate what is inside here. So when you differentiate this one, say, what's the answer here? 3x squared plus, when you differentiate the x squared, say, you drop this power here, it will be 2 times 3, which is what? 6x, when you subtract 1 for the power, that's 6x there, then plus, okay, you do the same thing, there's the 1 here, you drop the, you drop this one here, say 1 times 2, it will be 2, then you subtract 1 for the power, meaning to be 0, meaning this x will be raised to the power 0. Any number raised to the power 0, so what is going to be 2 times 1, 2 n here, okay? So meaning we put it here, 6x plus 1, plus 2 here, okay? If you want to end here, or can bring this one to the power close to this 9, you say, 3x squared plus 1, plus 2x, okay? So we end here. So this is the quickest method here. So we can end here. It's the quickest method here. So now let's do the, the formula method. Let's do the formula method. Let's find the same answer using the formula method here. So how do you find the same answer using the formula method? So the formula method here is say, let's get this one, okay? Is it equal to inside? Okay? So let's get this one equal to say 1 is equal to. 3x squared plus 2x to the power 9. Okay, let's use the formula method. So, so on this formula, formula method, you let this one or the complicated part of or this one in the brackets be equal to what to you. We let this one in the bracket be equal to, to you. So say let you be equal to 3x squared plus what plus 2 2. 2x, okay? So meaning, this equation, when you write, when we press you where there's this, this equation will be y equals 2, this is u, u to the power t, u to the power 9, okay? Okay? So u to the power 9. So the first thing you do here, you need to differentiate u in respect to what to x. Differentiate u in respect to what x. And also to check y in respect to what to you. Okay. So let's let's get this one say u is equal to 3 x squared to x. So we need to differentiate this equation here. So say x1 b du dx is equal to we differentiate this one, drop the power here to be 6x 
plus what? Plus two is du dx. So meaning we have differentiated du with respect to what? X. So now the next thing we need to differentiate y with respect to what? To u. So this one will be let's say to be y is equal to u to the power of nine. So it's so it will be dy du will be equal to use the power when you drop the power to be 9 u when you subtract one to the power to the power eight. Okay. So now the formula here, the formula for this general here is what? The dy dx here will be equal to what? Dy du multiplied by du dx. So this is the formula here. Dy, dy, du multiplied by du dx. So this is the formula here. So okay, let's find the answer to that formula. Let's see if we find the same answer here. Okay. So about this formula, what is dy du? Dy du is 9u to the power 8. So dy dx equals to 9u to the power 8. Okay. Multiply by what is du dx? Du dx is 6. What's that? 6 x plus what? Plus 2 here. Okay? So now we know that u is equal to what? 3x squared plus what? 2x. So we can replace it here. So say 9. What is u? 3x. Where is u? What is u? Where is u? Okay. 3x squared plus what? Plus 2x. Okay. To the power. Okay, that is u. So maybe the power to the power 8 multiplied by 6x plus what? Plus 2. Okay. So if one can bring this one close, this one to be 9. 6x plus what? Plus 2. Multiplied by 3x squared plus what? Plus 2x. So, should be exactly the same answer we found in the first place. Okay. So, this is the formula method. I'm also going to recommend this one. Okay. So, this is chain rule. Basically, this is how we do chain rule. So, the most important thing is just to get the concept very well and to go. Okay. So, now, let me ask you to Let me ask you to here. So, here I'm just introducing some of these. So let's go to the university. Okay. And where there's x, after differentiating x, you need to put the x over the x, which is the same as z1. Okay. That's what I mean there. Okay. For example, we are given this equation here. x squared plus what? Plus y squared equals what? Cost 1. Okay. So we are told to differentiate this one. So the moment you see the combination of these letters here, how do you know that this is increased? The moment you see the combination of these letters y and x, automatically you have to know that this is what? This is implicit here. So we are told to, to differentiate, let's differentiate x squared plus y squared equals to 1 using implicit differentiation here, okay? So what I mean is, after differentiating x, you need to put the x over the x. And after differentiating 1, you need to put the y the x. And you know that after differentiating it, the differential cost for a constant is always what? Zero. When you differentiate the constant, the answer is what? Is zero. Okay? So, so let's start here. Let's differentiate this one. X squared, we drop this two here to be two x we'll plus subtract one to two what? Two x. So after differentiating x, you need to put what? The x over what? Over the x. And we know that the x over the x is same as what? Same as one. So if you need to don't put it, no one will have to okay? So now we plus next thing. After differentiating y, you need to put dy dx in front, okay? 
So let's differentiate this one. Drop the power to y raised to the power of y to what? 2y is equal to? When you differentiate the constant, the answer is equal to what? 0. Okay. So this is the first step. After differentiating the y value, we put y to x in front. But for x, we know that x over the x is always 1. That's why we don't put anything here. Okay. So what's the next step here? The next step here is you make it, okay, we need to put y dx in first. After differentiating y, we put y dx, but y dx is equal to 1. So this is very important. After differentiating y, we put y dx in front. Y dx in front, okay? So what's next here? So the main goal of this implicit differentiation is, is to make the dy dx the subject of formula. So the next thing we need to make this dy dx the subject of formula, then we're done. Okay, so what do you do if you want to make this dy dx the subject of formula? So meaning this without dy dx needs to cross to the other one, to the other side. So meaning to be 2y dy dx, okay, this is 0 here. When you push the constant, the answer is always 0. Close to this one here will cross over, close to negative y here. 2x. Okay. What's our main goal here? Our main goal is to make dy dx the subject of formula. So we can divide both sides over what? 2y over what? 2y. So 2y will cancel, 2y will cancel, so we say dy dx here is equal to, equals to, so here you can cancel, here you can cancel, this will so be negative x over what? Over what? So many we are done. This is what we call this differentiation. So the first thing we do, after differentiating y, we put dy dx in front. After differentiating x, you put nothing because that's the same as dy over dx over dx is the same as y. Okay. Then you make, after doing that, you make dy dx the subject of formula. Then you have that implicit differentiation. Okay. Anyway, I'll explain more on implicit differentiation where we involve cos, cos and sine. But this is the basic. This is what you need to understand for it fully. To fully get the concept on this increased differentiation. So, so now let me ask to successful differentiation. So it is called successful differentiation because you can differentiate an equation, one equation, a number of terms, or a successful number of terms. You can differentiate one equation, a successful number of terms. So you can differentiate one equation, a number of terms. For example, we have given this equation is y equals to a squared plus y t plus 3x here. Okay, we have 3x here. And we are told to differentiate this one, maybe we are told to find, you say find, maybe you say f, f2, f to the power 2, maybe you say the second derivative, this just same one, okay, okay, the second derivative, just the same, so we will use this, just use this. They mean the same thing, okay? Okay. So, so meaning they want you to differentiate this equation two times. They want you to differentiate this equation two times. Just by the fact that this equation is differentiated two times or more than two times, that's why it's called successful differentiation. Okay, let's find the second derivative here. So the first thing we do find the first derivative dy dx just same as f prime. They will put something like this, just the same as this one here. So they mean the first derivative. So let's differentiate this one to be 2x plus 1 plus 3. This is the first derivative here. So the second derivative, this system, just the same as this. Okay, it's equals to, you differentiate. So the second derivative here, you differentiate this equation again. Here. You differentiate the first derivative. So so what's the answer here? Be 2. This is what? That's just 0 there. Okay? So maybe it's the second derivative. Okay? 
And again, don't differentiate. So again, when I this is the second derivative, we'll find the answer there. So when I try to find the third derivative, which is Q. Since the same as when you differentiate this one, does it work in Z? Okay. So this is called successful differentiation. So you can differentiate one equation a number of times, but it's successful number of times. That's why it's called successful differentiation. There's nothing special about successful differentiation. The meaning is that you can differentiate the same equation in a successful number of times. You find the first derivative. After finding the first derivative, you differentiate the first derivative, you find the second derivative. After finding the second derivative, you differentiate the second derivative, you find the third derivative. That's what they mean there. Okay? So that's the whole concept of this successful differentiation. But I'll make a full video of each and every subtopic on this differentiation so that you can fully understand. But on here, we're just trying to open your mind so that before we start, you can, can have something in mind. Okay? Thank you. See you in the next video.